hey what's up guys welcome to battle structures and i'm christabel i'll be taking you through the degree of static indeterminacy so this is the second video so if you haven't watched the first video please go back and watch it to get a better understanding of what's going on and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to also hit the notification button to get um, notifications whenever i upload a new video and also whenever i'm doing a live stream of an example of any question any kind of question so um don't forget to subscribe the last example we saw in the previous video was that we had a simple support and a fixed support then we found the degree of static indeterminacy which was five to the fifth degree this time around we'll be looking at frames with hinges so to have a re quick recap on what we did in the previous session the equation we derived for the degree of static indeterminacy sometimes called the degree of redundancy is equal to the number of reactions plus the number of internal forces minus the number of static equilibrium equations because we are considering hinges we are going to subtract also the number of conditional equations so i explained what conditional equations are in my first video i uploaded but let's just have a quick recap on what conditional equations are let me create a space here okay for a brief example on conditional equations let's consider a beam with two simple supports and a hinge in the middle with this, this is statically determinate, okay? So, with this, the number of static equilibrium equations are sum of moment equal to zero, sum of forces in x-axis equal to zero, sum of forces in y-axis equal to zero. These are the three static equilibrium equations. To get a conditional equation, to be able to solve this question, we know the condition at the hinge is the moment is equal to zero every hinge has a moment equal to zero okay so based on this condition of the hinge we can write one extra equation which is sum of moment at g equal to zero and this is called conditional a conditional equation okay okay so now let's tackle the frame with three hinges and it's a two bay two story one bay structure and we are asked to find the degree of static indeterminacy first I'm gonna cut it here and there and I'm going to expose the internal forces there. I'm going to consider this as part one and the bottom one as part two. So with this, I, I, I. The free body diagram of question one can be shown as that at this hinge, at the first hinge, once we separate it, we see these internal forces, the axial force and the shear force. And here also we see an axial force and a shear force, okay? So, because they are internal forces, once they are released, the opposite has to be shown also at the other side on the bottom side of the frame so we have a the axial force going down in there mm. this is going to the left let me clean that one this has to go to the right 
okay so now for the top part which is section I section I we have zero reactions plus how many internal forces do we have we have four internal forces four internal forces minus three static equilibrium equations minus one conditional equation because at this hinge we can write one more equation here which is sum of moment if that is g sum of moment at g equal to zero Okay, so that is this one. So here we have 4 minus 3 minus 1, 0 degree static indeterminacy. For section II, section II, we have 6 reaction because this is a fixed support we, there are six re three reactions for each support Let's say that okay so in total there are six reactions plus zero internal forces because these internal forces were considered here We're considered in section I. We are not going to consider them for section II. So we have zero internal forces minus three equations. Let me put static equilibrium equations minus how many do we have any conditional equation for the for II? No, we don't. So we have zero conditional equation which gives me what 6 minus 3 3 degree static indeterminacy so i plus ii now is equal to 0 plus 3 which gives me the third degree static indeterminacy for the whole structure okay that's so cool we finished the first question let's go to the second one here we have here we have let me just write question two here here we have also a two floor structure two story two story frame and we are asked to find the degree of static indeterminacy so i'm gonna cut it here and i'm gonna cut it there also and let's draw the free body diagram of this okay then we have the bottom part then at this side we have we have two reaction two internal forces not reactions two internal forces and the opposite here just going down axial force moving down and this has to move towards the left okay so if this is A, that is A, this is B, that is B, this is C, that is C, this is D, that is also D. Okay, so now let's find for I, we're going to call this I, I, and I, I. For this one, we're going for I, section I, section I. What are the number of reactions so we have zero reactions plus number of internal forces for if minus number of static equilibrium equations which are three s e e not c static equilibrium equations and minus 
number of compact conditional equations we don't have any hinge on the structure now we release these ones we don't have any hinges here so we are going to say zero conditional equation and this is going to give us one degree static indeterminacy okay so now let's go to section ii for section ii what do we have we have here at this part okay for this member here this is called a linker whenever you see a member connected to con connected to two hinges they are called linkers okay linkers act like truss members they only take axial forces so once we cut it here we are gonna have just an axial force in it okay so we have that let me redraw this one again for section i we are gonna have just a second let me change the color i'm gonna have that this this we have the support here we have also another support here then we have this internal force here okay let's say e they are equal and opposite just like truss members okay so we also have internal forces here which is a b we have d going down and we have c moving towards this direction so in total how many unknowns do we have we have we have for section two let me change the color we have four reactions because that is a pin support with two reaction forces for each support so we have four reactions plus and um, how many internal forces do we have we have just e because d c a and b were considered in section i so there's no need to consider it again in total we have just one internal force in force minus do we have any static equilibrium equations yes we have three static equilibrium equations equilibrium equations but we have zero conditional equation which tells us that for section two we have two or the second degree static indeterminacy okay so for the whole structure together we have one which is i section i plus section i i we have three degree static indeterminacy which is one degree plus two degree gives us third degree static indeterminacy for the whole structure okay that's about it for finding the degree of static indeterminacy for frames and thank you for watching and hope you will subscribe hit the notification button to get notifications whenever i upload a new video yeah thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something good from it bye don't